Hello everyone, uh, Milan from IP Fabric here. Today I will walk you through the very first steps with the IP Fabric platform. The prerequisite for this video is having the OVA image for VMware already installed and now we access the platform via its powerful web interface. So this is how your first deployment will look like. We currently don't see any snapshots available. And first of all, we need to complete the after installation configuration wizard. So let's go ahead. In the first step after initializing the setup wizard, we need to configure the network infrastructure access information. We basically need to provide a platform with at least one valid username and password for SSH or telnet access. Now, some of the platforms require privileged access to obtain a certain network state information or download a configuration file. If you know there are platforms that use enable mode password, like Cisco, please add it to the list. Again, because it's a list of passwords, we can provide more than one. The seed IP address or the starting point for the discovery. The starting points can be the management IP addresses of your core routers or switches. Also, existing inventory data can be imported. If no seed information is entered, the discovery will begin from the current default gateway and with a combination of traceroute and the ICMP probe, it will try to discover other IP addresses and therefore devices. Include or exclude networks in discovery. By default, if the subnet with all zeros is included, there is no limitations for discovery algorithm at all. Above that, we can selectively exclude IP addresses from discovery, where the exclude options take precedence over include options. The CLI setting. Now, there's a lot of options on how we can fine tune the command line interface access to your infrastructure devices. Feel free to leave all in default at your first start. However, if you know that your environment has certain security or bandwidth limitations, go ahead and maybe limit the maximum number of parallel sessions or increase the network device session out time out of it. I will leave in default for now. The configuration files can be downloaded periodically or initiated by a syslog message coming from your devices. The syslog triggered configuration download needs proper syslog configuration on the device's side, of course. The site separation a very important part of your configuration. Currently, there are three options for how your network devices can be grouped together. The first and default one is by the writing and switching domain, where the boundary of any site is formed by the network protocol relation. Alternatively, Devices can be grouped by regular expression, which is applied to device's hostname. Regex is fully customizable and can be tested within a platform after discovery. The manual site separation is also available. OK, and the final step, the system backup. Of course, it's recommended to have system backup scheduled. Please use FTP or SFTP option in your production environment if possible. For local backup, more than one partition is needed to be available for the virtual machine. And uh, that is all for now and when you are finally finished with playing with the racket, you can start your first discovery. Uh, feel free to search for any available documentation which is uh, online on our website and have a great time with the platform.